left her body in the creek. Mobile's longest serving city councilman says he has one term left. In announcing his bid for office, Fred Richardson says his next term will be his last. The Gulf Coast CW's Chad Petrie has more. Fred Richardson says he's pushing 80 and it's the right time to move on to other things after another four years. I have two books that I have started that I have not completed. There are some other things that I want to get done. And I know they call our position part-time, but it's not part-time. It's full-time. He's currently the longest-serving city council member, and he's known for being a fierce advocate for people in his district, even the ones who don't agree with him. If you're a member of the, of the Klan and you call for Fred Richardson, if you ring, I will spring. I don't ignore anybody. I, I will represent every person in District 1. It's that wit over the years that's made him a highlight of council meetings that I am not stupid enough to preempt the public. If I show up to them today, they're not coming New Year's Eve night. Who got up, came out on crutches, on walkers, and we were victorious tonight. He didn't get more news coverage than the moon pie dropped. He also has his share of critics, but Richardson says that's a sign he's doing something right. Dogs do not bark at parked cars. Richardson says he's looking forward to one more term. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. And Fred Richardson won't be going into the August municipal election unopposed. There have been at least two men who say they're going to run against him, Corey Penn and Timothy Hollis. No one can officially file to run until July 5th.